Hello there, Sir from 17 once again. This is uh, something that I'm going to probably title my Dark Souls Anniversary. And it's a collection of videos that are going to be using a very similar setup to the very first setup I ever used on Dark Souls, which uh, looked a little bit like this one. The difference being is back in those days, the before the patch, the Darkwood Grain Ring allowed quite a lot of flexibility, so I could have a lot more poise. So this is a, a low poise equivalent of of my old build, which was a, a Chaos Blade build. Um, because of the weight restrictions, I don't have a secondary weapon. You know, if it, in an ideal world, if I over leveled him, which I don't want to do, I would have given him something along the lines of perhaps a, a Great Scythe or, or an S-Stock, something like that, because I used those weapons quite a lot when I first started playing. And I wanted to just go back with a, an old school setup with a new school mentality. And this has nothing to do with school, so don't worry, guys, as I just get beaten by a hacker there, which is unfortunate, but it does happen. You know, I'm not very good at fighting hackers, and unfortunately, I find this guy a lot because he was invading in the kiln, and he, he was just rude, man. And he's got, he's got modded stamina, he's got modded life. It was difficult to run away from him. It was difficult. I mean, look at the fucking lag. Like it was, it was hard to even put on the equipment that I wanted to put on. Like he can flip for days. He's got dark bead. He's got all the armor in the world, which gives him a shit ton of poise. And he's using a weapon that I I really don't enjoy, which is the the Ornstein spear, the the Dragon Slayer spear. And when you give somebody unlimited stamina or modded stamina, which this guy almost has to have for what he's doing. It, it's just, I've never seen anything like it, like, the attacks just never stop coming, and, you know, part of it's my own naivety to think that maybe they will, but they just don't, so I'm, I'm going to be showed up by this guy quite a lot, and the, the best part about it is he thinks he's good, which just goes to show the mentality of some players on this game. Because one thing I've never professed to be is good at PvP. I am a fantastic PvE player, but I'm an average PvP player. And I PvP because I enjoy it, and it's fun, and it's different, and, you know, I love Dark Souls. So it's just another form of expression inside of Dark Souls. And I'm going to fall off here because I get cocky. Uh, my analogues are a little bit knackered, and this sometimes happens. Yeah, there you go. So, unfortunately, I was going to frustrate him in the back cave, but I never got there because I'm an idiot. But... What this video is going to be, it's going to be Darkwood Grain Ring, it's going to be Chaos Blade, it's going to be Grass Crest Shield, and that is pretty much it. It's just going to be me using that setup, you know, extremely similar to what I used to use. I've got a bow on it instead of a secondary pyromancy. Um, back in the start, I had a pyromancy on because, you know, great, great combustion, the fireballs, things like that, are fantastic. They, they're so useful. And when I've been playing with this build, I do miss those those side abilities because they are that useful. But at the same time, I'm having a lot of fun because I don't have those crutches to rely on. You know, I don't have 56 poise, so I can't just eat shots from everything. I don't have the pyromancies to pull out whenever, you know, I'm down on the cards or something. So I have to be, you know, more creative and, and, and just have a bit more fun with it. But this being said, I, I do appreciate that there's going to be a lot of people that don't really like this video because this is a setup that is all over Dark Souls. You know, Katana's with Flip Ring is, is really popular and, and that person there does the mistake that a lot of people do. Uh, as soon as he gets parried, he then starts parry spamming as if it's this thing that you can just kind of do. And this is our, our friendly modder again who... He was in the kiln this night, and all I got was this guy. So this time he starts attacking first, and I'm just I'm not playing well at all. He's getting phantom range. He can attack for days. It's just never a good idea. And he's back again, and you'll notice he's invading me. So all the people who defend modders like this, who say, oh, they're just modding their own game. There's not wrong with that. Look at this motherfucker. You know he is actively seeking out other people to to do this, and it's just it's just insane. And I have items that are fantastic in these kind of fights. For instance, I've got 99 Elizabeth Mushrooms, which I don't even think I've used yet, because I, I think they're shit, really, but they can be useful in a fight like this. The only problem is, if you're using green blossoms, you can't use those, those mushrooms, so I like blossoms over mushrooms, so I, I'll never probably use them. But even then, you know, people will compare 99 of an item that they don't think you should have 99 of to what this guy's doing, you know? 
you can kill people that have got ridiculous healing items. It's a pain in the ass and it takes a lot of skill and a lot of patience, but you can kill them. People like this, sometimes you can't even feasibly kill them. Like, you can lead them to an edge, which is all good and well, but on a build such as this, the only way to knock him off is with a backstab. And as you've seen already, he's using gold tracers, so he's going to try and stunlock me. He's using that fucking Ornstein spear. He's he's a character, and this this moment just goes to show that he's a shit player. You know, he's he's trying to do parries, he's trying to mess about with me because he's confident that he's going to kill me because he's using a, a broken build. Like, he's a bad player. And it's funny that all the people that do what this guy's doing are terrible at the game. Like, they never took the time to get good at the game and then they just do this. And it, and it wins. Because how do you get away from that? <laughs> I've got 32 boys. Like... I can toggle and it'll still hit me with the invisible range, so it's it's just, it, that was a very frustrating night and this is a good one. I pretend that I've not seen him, but I have, <laughs> because I can move the camera. So he tries to come and ambush me and instead uh, he gets shit on and I point him down because he's not very polite and he just chose to play that way, so good on him, but I don't stand for it. But this is a, a another kind of laggy match. We've got another spellcaster, he's got his crystal soul spear, he's got his soul masses, and he's got his moonlight greatsword. So he's one-handing it, he's got the Xanthos stuff on, more magics, nice mask of the child. And here he comes with a quick attack. Try to punish him but don't get the range, he does the R2, punish him there with the roll attack for a quick 300 damage. God, the Chaos Blade is powerful, man. I'm hitting less than that on Greatsword of Artorias on my other build, it's, it's insane. And I am going to edit in the stats of this build, probably at the beginning of this video, which I forgot to do. And the stats are nothing impressive. I've got a lot in endurance just so I can wear what I'm wearing, because I think it looks good. It's, it's not the most efficient, as it, it only gives you 32 poise, but I think it looks amazing. And, you know, if I dropped the hat, the, the mask, the hollow hood, I could probably put a second weapon on. Uh, and something along those lines, and it wouldn't affect my poise breakpoint, even though my poise doesn't really have that much of a breakpoint. But I don't want to, because I like the way it looks, the ensemble. I love the colour of the, the, the hood, and the, the kind of neck scarf thing on the armour. But this is the Berg, as you can see. We've got a very agile guy with a, a katana and a scythe, which is very similar to my original build. And I'm super curious as to what his stats are to wield it because with the looks of him I don't think he's got a lot of poise so that's probably how he gets away with it but he's still using the Dartwood Grain Ring so he has every advantage with it and this is you know Dartwood Grain Ring versus Dartwood Grain Ring and these are the kind of fights that that's frustrating but it happens but I like these matches and a lot of people will watch this and they'll, they'll say the same things they always generally do so usually along the lines of scrub katana you know xbox 360 this that and the other uh, they're usually people who came from demon souls and thus have this inherent elitism to them which I'm not a big fan of because you know I've played a lot of demon souls now and I, I still don't think it it gives you this supremacy over other people like it just seems really silly and <laughs> there was a funny comment on one of the the Dark Souls beta videos I put up where a guy made a joke about statistics saying that, you know, 90% of people on PlayStation are, are serious players and 90% of people on Xbox are, are idiots, you know, who are trolling and cheesing and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, whenever, whenever someone throws statistics around, I always want to source because, you know, 90% of all statistics are bullshit and that statistic I just gave is bullshit. So it's just silly. It's the Anchorman thing. And... A lot of people got really aggressive and angry towards him because essentially it turned it into kind of like a fanboy thing when it, you know, it just doesn't really need to be. PlayStation 3 has the biggest community on Dark Souls. You know, it just does. Not only does it have the majority of the Japanese players, and this is a game that went down really well in Japan, but Demon Souls was the first title, so thus the Demon Soul players that are all deep in the Souls series are going to be on that system. But at the same time, that doesn't mean there aren't good players on Xbox, and that doesn't mean that it's not a good experience on Xbox. Like, for instance, the lag on PlayStation 3 is legendary. Like, there's a lot of streamers that will not play on PlayStation 3 because the lag is so bad. You know, but at the same time, there's more traffic, there's more players. A lot of people consider them to be more serious players, more, more you know, successful and, and high-skilled players, which 
is all debatable. But it was just funny that how this thing came about, and then he ended up putting a, a comment saying he was just joking because of how much shit was happening in this comment thread of people just turning it into this console thing when, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what console you're playing on, you just, we want to play, you know, we want to invade, we want to have fun, and whatever that fun is all depends on, on how you play. And I'm getting pieced up here by a, a guy using the Great Club, which is always nice to see, because people think that that weapon is bad, and it's not. It's really good. Like, my experience in fighting the Great Club is that everybody tries to do the, the rolling two-handed, unparryable attack. But if you mix up these other attacks, you know, you can really catch people out, because not a lot of people do. Like, this one especially, especially if he does the second hitch, which he does, you know, I didn't toggle, so I didn't get out of it in time, and he clipped me with it, which is really nice to see. It's nice to see somebody using such a, a fun weapon creatively. And this is the, the same person, he's using a, a, an Uchi, this is the same guy we fought before, sorry. The Dartwood Grain Ring contest. And right there, I'm just I'm just taking hit for hit for hit. In fact, I think on this fight, he absolutely smashes me. And uh, right there was an accident, if he, if he wondered why I was pulling my fist out. Because I'm so used to having a weapon in my second hand, uh, I, I toggle quite a lot. And I'm used to it being a rapier or something that I can get in quickly with. And on this build, it isn't. So, uh, in that particular instance... I actually thought I'd toggled back to the Chaos Blade because I pressed it on the pad, but anybody who's played on the Xbox with its terrible D-pad, and just Dark Souls in general when it drops inputs, there are moments when you think you've got your weapon on and you've pressed to put your weapon on and the game doesn't swap. So I, I ended up punching him and a lot of people think it's insulting and it wasn't intended to be insulting, I, I thought I had a sword on. But This is someone who I assume has been watching Pep because he's doing a really cheeky technique. He's coming at me with an unupgraded Drake Sword. You know, he's, he's, he's trying to masquerade as a new player. And he's parrying a lot. So there's a, a little bit of parry span going on. And you'll notice I'm not attacking him. I'm not being as aggressive as I normally would be. Because all he's doing is, is spamming parry when he gets up close. And he's using a weapon that's not upgraded. So I'm, I'm kind of confused what's happening. And then he backstabs me and he's got a Hornet on. And it's like, okay, so he's, he's obviously... Interesting something and there we go. There is the epiphany that I was waiting for and you'll notice Counters the backstab so this is a player who knows what he's doing and he's trying to parry people on a setup That is is you know very new player looking so that he can repost with the hornet ring with a ridiculously powerful weapon It's like a trap. It's you know, he's, he's luring like a siren to a sailor. It's, it's really interesting to see but uh, When I when I fight stuff like that, it always leaves me confused so we've got a guy with the wolf ring on. It looks like he's using... Is it a, a long sword or a broad sword? I think it's a long sword. But heater shield, long sword. He's got his poise break point to where he needs it. He's wearing a bit of chain armor. A lot of people do. And uh, it's just a back and forth. I go for the backstab there to try and punish the poke. But don't quite get it. He goes between two-handing. Here comes the rapier. Gets a running attack on me. He takes an arrow to the chest. Does a couple of quick rolls. A nice change direction poke there into a kick. Here he comes again back with the longsword, get a big running attack on him, and then clip him as he comes in for the for the strike. So, interesting fight. This is another person... Oh, this is the, the, the same guy we've fought quite a few times now. So, Katana Wars. Here we go. Big hit on the, the Uchi there. Flips, flips galore. A little bit of spacing. Pull the ball out, get him with a ball hit, which is... Ooh! Wow. Well, it is Dark Souls, so I guess <laughs> you've got to take the good with the bad. No idea what happened then. But there's a big hit from the, the the secondary feature of that katana. And that's the only thing I don't like about the Chaos Blade. Uh, I think the R2s are terrible. It's one of those things where I wish there was the ability to change what your R2 was. You know, to alter the modifier. Be it through a Covenant or, or through a Blacksmith. But just the ability to... To get rid of the shit moves. Like, I'll never understand why those moves are so slow. And it always makes me think back to the E3 build of Dark Souls, the original. Uh, back when the, the Black Knight Sword R2 was instant. You know, there was none of that wicked build up and then the poke. He just poked. And as much as that probably was, you know, it looked overpowered, I don't think it would have been. Because the sword swings pretty fast in itself. And the, the secondary swing. 
is still powerful, but it's, it's not that much more powerful, so I would have really liked to see something like that. And they slowed it down, and they slowed a lot of things down, and like the katanas and stuff. The, the amount of time he winds up on the Chaos Blade swings, the only logical explanation I can think of for those wind-ups is balancing is this is a katana that is longer than the other ones except for obviously the washing pole it does a lot of damage it does it does bleed it's fast it's it's good in almost every category so the only way to you know to mitigate its quality is is to to, to give it this massive wind up and if you didn't see just then the guy was running in the distance and he fell off the bridge that is also the same person in my dark moon video who was dark mooning in the kiln and uh, a person in the comments was arguing that he was new. Like, some of this footage is from a week ago, guys. This guy's been PvPing. You know, PvPing with the cheesiest setup, so don't give him excuses. He doesn't deserve it. <laughs> but this is the township. A lot of people call this place the town shit, and I understand that because a lot of shit in this place. Like a fucking toilet at times. But I found this player who strikes me as a new guy. But he's creative, and he gets full respect for, for just being so interesting. You know, he's wearing interesting gear, he's wearing interesting stuff. You might wonder why I was using a Great Scythe. This is not in sequence, this fight, because of the way that I've imported the video. Sometimes they get out of sequence to when they were recorded. So, we've actually fought a whole bunch of times. And what I wanted to do in some of these experiences is if I'm invading or getting someone invading me a lot of times and I'm using the same weapon and weapon, I like to try and make it interesting for my opponent because there's nothing worse than fighting the same build all night. So the only other weapons I've got on this build are a Great Scythe, Gold Tracer and, and a, a Claymore, sorry. So I was alternating my weapons to give him a different fight. And if you're wondering why I hit this guy when he bowed, is I've trimmed out the moment before he bowed where he stood in front of me, watched me grass, and then held his shield up at me. So I assumed we were fighting. Then when I went close, he bowed. So it was a little confusing. So instead, I just, I'm just i going to fire arrows at him. And as you can see just then, yeah, we've got a, another fun player. So punish the backstab there with the open hand just to show him backstabs aren't going to work. Then he starts blocking, and all he does is block, so I start hitting him with bleed, and it's it's just really strange. I, he might be new, I hope he is, you know, I'm not too sure what's happening. He's got a cool shield, and it's just really, really unusual, so... Maybe a new player, maybe just trying to have some fun or be silly, I don't really understand, but... You know, when I'm trying to get gameplay, folks, I'm trying to get as much gameplay as I can as quickly as I can. Because PvP for Dark Souls, for me, is very slow at times. And when I'm getting invasions, when I come up against a guy who's wasting my time, I always think like I could be having so many more fights, so much more fun than I'm having right now because of this person. And uh, never mind, I just got showed up there by a, a legend with a Manserpent Greatsword. <laughs> and this is the, the player that we fought a moment ago with... Ooh, didn't go for the... You see that? That was great. If anybody doesn't know how you counter a, a setup parry, he just showed you the perfect way to do it. And as soon as I see that when I'm fighting, it makes me think that the player I'm up against is experienced and he's good. And I'm not to say that this player isn't good or experienced, but uh, some things that happen later on in these fights kind of convey to me that he's newer than I thought he was. You know, like some of the moves he did early on, they were kind of intimidating in a sense that I'm up against someone who, who knows his stuff. And then later on, there were a couple of things that made me think perhaps he's, he's not as experienced as I gave him credit for. And that can happen in Dark Souls. You know, you can get somebody who will toggle or who will do something and you think, wow, this, this guy's on the ball, he's on the money. And then it'll have just been serendipity and he did it by accident and later on he, he takes a stun lock like a boss. But... Speaking of stun locks, I was very close to being in one just then. He goes for the two hand on the obsidian. I pull out the bow. Bow really frustrates me. The thing that frustrates me the most is when I press to pull the bow out, because I do the input so quickly, and then I'll almost always roll afterwards, sometimes it doesn't register the second input. So I just have a bow in my left hand, and I'm not two handing it, and it's super annoying. I know exactly why it does it, as we get that really interesting double kill. And The reason it does it is because I'm rolling before the input's registered, so that it doesn't come out. And I understand completely what it is, but it, I, I can't help it. 
Like I'm used to fast inputs, fast responses, and things like that. And when you use the bow, sometimes it doesn't work. And I've, I often find myself in a situation where I'm looking down the first-person view of the bow because I've pressed the button so intentionally that I've pressed it more than needs to be pressed. So that is probably just my inexperience with it and also my impatience with inputs. But it's a, it's a legitimate issue, and I'm hoping that Dark Souls 2 smoothens that out because the bow work looks a lot more functional. So I'm hoping it's just going to be you know, a lot more intuitive and a lot more fun to use. But this guy pulls his bow out. Later on in the series, you're going to see a really interesting dude with a bow who disappointed me a lot. And I think it's just because I gave him too much credit, where he was using almost every single kind of projectile weapon in the game. And I beat him. And I beat him with this build. So when people lose to a build like this, you know, they don't really like it because it's a katana build. It's the easiest build on the planet. All that kind of stuff that they say. So the next time I fought him, when he started losing, he pulled a rapier out and started trying to horn it fish. Which is really sad, because if you're going to be so creative and so, you know, so silly with this funny build, and then when you start losing, you're just going to go back to the the tactic that is the most hated on Dark Souls, what's the point in even doing it? It seems counterintuitive to me, but everybody plays Dark Souls how they want to, so he probably has a very good reason. I just didn't personally understand it. But there you go, folks. That's the first part. There are more to come. So thank you for watching, and you take care now.